don't do it glasses are this is hot girl stuff are circled in today's video i'm showing you my sunglasses collection because i realized that i do actually have a decent amount of sunglasses and they're actually a really good staple piece if you want to spice up an outfit especially here in florida in the sunshine state honey i'm not really going to go in any particular order but i will start off with this classic pair they are gucci and they might be like a little dusty so these are the classic gucci frames oh my gosh they're so why are they so like dirty Bear with me, some of these glasses are a little dirty. You know, I wear them. So these are these Gucci ones. They're a classic shape. You've seen them around. I just feel like they're a part of the starter pack when you're starting your shades collection. Look, look how flimsy this is. You can tell I got like a lot of wear out of it because of, yeah, that bothers me though. This is how they look on. Here's a side view of them. They're just a really classic and flattering shape. I feel like every hot girl needs a pair of these because, <laughs> again, the shape is just not too big, but big enough to be a statement pair of shades, right? So these, I will honestly say, have become the pair that I don't really care about too much. I don't want to say that because I do care about my things and I do take care of my things. These shades are definitely an essential love them uh the next pair of shades i got are these balenciaga ones so remember when like the balenciaga logo glasses were out with the big b on the side every time i tried to go get those for some reason they were just super crooked and just not made very well at all so i ended up exchanging them like i think i got them twice and ended up exchanging them and i got these instead so these are actually like a brown pair from balenciaga they're like that tortoise tortoise shell and they're cat eye how cute are these and it's not as super flashy because the logo is not gold so i like that they're silver or this like off metaled color here you see and you can see the tortoise shell in the light a little bit there like the actual color they've got like that brown tint it's given very like 90s but i do love these shades because again they're just super flattering i love a nice cat eye i feel like cat eye is what you need to have in your shades collection and they have a nice tint when i'm looking out as well things are more of a brown shaded color to them because of the tint of the lens so really love these as well super nice shades and these are just a better quality and they're not crooked on my face like the other ones were and balenciaga just had no explanation for why that happened it wasn't worth that much money for some crooked glasses the next pair that i have are another gucci pair but i got these i think from farfetch these are super these are like one of my favorites these are one of my top two not two shades these are the oversized rectangle logo frames gucci frames and look at them they're hot okay like these they're not as big or oversized to me they're a little on the smaller side, but look, I love it. And I don't like to be too much of a logo whore, but these are cute, right? Like, how cute are these? These are just, these are just like stunner celebrity, like shades. I don't know, <laughs> but I will say there's absolutely zero peripheral vision in these. Like I cannot drive in these. If I drive in these, I'm no no no! i'm getting into an accident with this i cannot drive with this on this is so like this just blocks your whole side view you can't see anything and then to make matters worse it really is like squeezing around your temple area like on the side of your eyes so it really is like just like horse blinders not just not not practical but they're hot right who needs practicality when you have aesthetics <laughs> next pair i have are actually some vintage chanel shades my stepmom gave these to me and these are hot look how cool these are they've got like that reflector on the lens with the cc of course it's giving willy wonka y'all but who doesn't love willy wonka like how cool wasn't willy wonka cool all i need is a bob right um but this is a side view of them and these are circled what i love about every pair of shades i have is that there's a, just a different shape i don't really have the same shape of shades Ooh, say that fast i don't have the same shape of shades um because i you know i feel like you need different shapes depending on the outfit depending on the day depending on the look but how cute are these and then the cc in the lens you can see them 
yeah i love that these are super hot too love these i get a lot of compliments when i wear these as well i do actually want another pair of chanel shades but this is good for now speaking of vintage i'm gonna hop onto this piece this is actually uh some cartier shades well, not cartier shades but cartier lenses that i got they're actually broken i need to get them fixed but you have to be very careful when you're getting you know vintage pieces fixed because you can't just bring them anywhere but these are super dope shades with the blue tints the glass frames oh my god i love these i love these cartier shades these are actually i like took these from my dad i don't even think he realizes that i have these but these are old like good old authentic cartier frames and just look how thick and great quality the glasses are just great quality but as you can see they are a little flimsy so i do need to get them screwed down tighten and things like that but these are really hot especially when i'm wearing denim and white like now yeah but i'm very careful with these i barely pull these out because i was killing them for a very long time and again as i mentioned they need to be fixed so i have to set them down for a little uh next glasses are these are my favorite these are my driving glasses okay these i keep these in my car this is you not gonna see me if i don't have any makeup on i don't feel like putting on makeup i don't need to because these shades are going to do the job for me they're gonna do the job for me these are my rick owens shield shades and look at them what this is hot girl stuff this is really hot girl shades this is a side view it's got a very thin frames very thin arms here which i love because it does not need anything else because these like the front of the shades just does enough is enough and i love them i love how you can just adjust them if i don't have my eyebrows on my lash whatever this is going to just cover you up you're good girl you're good you can run in and out they won't even know it's you right <laughs> but i love these shades these are one of my newer pickups and my favorite pickups after the other previous gucci ones that i showed you so these stay in my car like i don't i keep these purposely in my vehicle because i want to wear them while i'm driving um the next two glasses that i have are amazon purchases these went pretty viral from leah's face and kyra these bottega dupe shades how cute are these right love these i think i might wear these today but they're not really shades because they don't they're not there's no shade they're like a clear tinted lens but they're super cute this is a side view they are a dupe of the bottegas as i mentioned and they're just super light you know i think these were 12 15 bucks they feel like they were 12 15 bucks but they get the job done okay that's fine um the other pair that i have are also from the same company from amazon and that company is called it's called sohos or sojos but i think sohos See the Extraordinary. This is another pair also influenced from Aaliyah's face, but I do love how this is more of a clear gold tint. And this is a different style from these. This is more a little bit like an aviator, but a squared aviator. And this is a side view, very thin frames as you can see on the side, which I do like that a little bit more. Cause as I mentioned, when you start to just get thicker on the sides of glasses, your peripheral vision is just off. And if I'm wearing shades, I want to keep them on. I don't want to have to keep taking them off to see or, or look beside me or anything. And I don't like keeping shades up here because that just damages them. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't, don't do that. If anything, I'd rather keep them on my shirt like this or just keep them in their bag or case if I have with me. So this was my last pair. I thought these were cute. These definitely give a 90s babe, J-Lo vibes whatever they're cute so that's my sunglasses collection guys it's nothing crazy nothing too you know elaborate but i feel like i have a little something of everything for anything and i think that's super important especially when you're accessorizing and just within fashion in general keeping that in mind while you style your pieces you know you you don't want to have like eight cat eye sunglasses you like what you like but the importance of fashion and style is sometimes switching it up being able to you know have something else translate to something else as well you know what i mean so i hope you enjoyed my little sunglasses collection i will try my best to link all of them below let me know your favorite sunglasses and make sure you're subscribed i'll see you in the next video